Hello, brothers in the Christ. This is Brother Keon here. And today we are having an interesting topic. I can't believe we're actually going with this. Uh, going to talk about this. Because this is the most stupidest topic ever, 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 ever heard. And you can tell about the meme. Um, it's, yeah. It, 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 this, this, is what, this is what you're seeing right now. It's stupid. It's actually stupid. Because basically what they're saying is John 3.16 is salvation by works. We're, we're going to go to the verse itself in a, in, a, in a bit. But I just want you to see this meme real quick. It's it's crazy. It, it it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't I don't get this. Like, why would you think John three sixteen is a work? It's not. Then they say First Corinthians fifteen. I'm they saved by grace. Like it's a it, they work the actual same way. They both do. Like there's a lot of verses in the Bible that actually points to Christ. We can't just focus on one verse and thinking that oh well, we just need we need this verse to tell people that, that Christ died for our sins. No, that was prophesied in the Old Testament as as, as it is too. Like it, it it was prophesied in the Old Testament. Check out Isaiah fifty three. It tells you all about what Christ was going to do on the cross. That, that was before the cross. <sighs> <Man. laughs> this is crazy. And yeah, this is the kicker right here. Check this one out. Be warned, there is no salvation in taking John 3.16 out of his context and applying it to yourself for salvation. No blood atonement, no death, burial, resurrection in this verse. Actually, it's, it's, it explains it. If you actually understand the cross, you can tell it's self-explanatory. Because Jesus Christ knew what he's about to do before when he told Nicodemus about About um, you believing on him, you shall have eternal life. But let's go to the verse. Let's, let's just go to the verse. Because it, like, these memes are just ridiculous. Let's go to the verse. Real quick. Um, I, I'm going to tell you one thing. I, I, like, I, I had discussions about this verse plenty of times. That... It's not meant for us. I used to be in mid X years ago. And I used to believe that that um John three sixteen wasn't for us too. I used to believe that too. But when you start studying the Bible more and more and more over the years, and then you start to realize that you know, John three sixteen is for us. It's just how you use it, but if you use it in the um, in a, uh, your own from your own understanding and thinking it's a work, then yeah, you are gonna see it as a work. So let's go ahead and read it for, cause I'm not gonna make this video long, cause like it don't need to be long. John three sixteen for God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever Pay attention to this, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What is so hard about that? Where's the work at? There's no works in this. None. It didn't say whosoever worketh, whoever so the worketh should not perish, but have everlasting life. Where's the, where, where's the works? Where's the law in in this? There's no law in this. At all, period. And I can take it one step further what they think. 
for for I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this there the, the, the mid Acts version. This is how they see through John three sixteen. For God so loved Israel, let's place world with Israel that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him or whoever does the law should not perish but have everlasting life. Whoever should, who should ever keep the law, put it that way, should have everlasting life. That's the way they see it. But it's ridiculous that they think that John 3.16 is a work. And that's ridiculous. It's not a work. It's actually salvation. Jesus Christ is our salvation. He's our rock. He is the truth. The way he is, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through Him. It's that simple. Like why why are we having this this discussion about something that's dumb? I'm sorry. This don't make no sense. Okay, six minutes. Shouldn't be this long. I just want to discuss this. Like I'm. This 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 whole discussion is stupid. I'm like I just want to make a video about it just to let people know that John three sixteen is not a work. It's not. It's it's actually salvation. It's God, like Jesus Christ was talking to Nicodemus about salvation. If you believe in Him, you shall have eternal life. It, it's no it's no different than what Paul said in Acts. You know, to the jailer. He, the jailer said, how, he said, how can I be saved? Believe, him, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. That's simple. It's the same concept. No different. But, oh, but, but there's no cross. There's no death, burial, resurrection. There's no blood. It's self-explanatory. If you read the scriptures... And know what Jesus Christ did on the cross is self-explanatory. You should know what happened on the cross. You should be able to explain John 3, 16 in a way that they can understand it. That they can know what Jesus Christ did on the cross. You don't just explain it to them like, well, John 3, 16 is not salvation. It's just a work salvation uh, verse. Well, then if you think it's a work salvation verse, guess what? Everybody's going to take it as a worst salvation work because the way you're explaining it. But that's all I got to hear for today. You, brothers and sisters, I hope y'all be blessed and have a blessed day. This is, this is ridiculous.